Welcome back. It's estimated that bullying impacts one in five students in the U.S. Our next guest grew up poor on Milwaukee's South Side and says he was bullied. He later became a professional boxer and now a corporate leader. Hector Colon's advice is to love your bully. He writes about his childhood in this memoir. It is called From Boxing Ring to Boardroom, and I'm super thrilled to have him back here on the show. Good morning to you. Good morning, Molly. So happy to be here with you again. Thank you for joining us. I know the last time I talked to you, we talked about all your different tips as you, as you transition from the boxing ring to the boardroom and kind of how to succeed in life. But one of the things you mentioned, and this is why I said he must come back, is that you <laughs> said it has been so important for you to love your childhood bully. And I was like, he's got to get more into that. Why do you think that's important? And how do you do that? You know, I think about my life and if it wasn't for Adam, would I have ever been a boxer and got the experience of how to win and lose and got the opportunity to represent the United States of America and all the responsibilities that that, that comes along with that. You know, to have the opportunity to have a worldwide perspective when I traveled to different countries, you know, could I have gone in the wrong direction like so many of my friends did, some of which died due to drug overdose, others that died uh, due to gang violence. You know, would I be the president and CEO of Lutheran Social Services of Wisconsin and Upper Michigan? Or would I be on the morning blend uh, <laughs> if it wasn't for Adam? So Adam, uh, I forgive you. I love you so much. And I'm so happy to be here uh, with you today, Molly. So Adam was your bully. Have you ever talked to him in person since your childhood? Not since my childhood. I, probably the last time I saw him might have been around uh, 15 years old. Uh, so it's been a very long time. Why do you think forgiving him is so important to you? Yeah, I think uh, those that do not forgive probably have resentment uh, in their hearts. And I think it's important to forgive so that that could just go away. You know, the research shows that if you don't forgive, it could affect your, your overall health and well-being. You know, it could increase anxiety. Uh, so those are the things you want to, you want to, um, you know, be free. And lastly, I think that, you know, I have offended others. And so I have asked for forgiveness. And in order for me um, to ask for forgiveness, I also need to forgive. See, I love that uh, because it's not just about forgiving others, but knowing that we've made mistakes ourselves. And it reminds us of a, a speech that George Bush gave many years ago, and this is not a political statement, but I remember him saying, um, I believe in forgiveness because I've needed it myself. And, and I think that's, that's what you're saying, but I think it's very difficult to forgive people, especially if they have been unkind, or in your case, they have been aggressive. Yeah, I think that's true, but but you know you um, you have to have temperance and self control and restraint, and just be willing to uh, to forgive that individual because again, uh, you're the one that's going to be more negatively affected with that resentment in your heart uh, if you don't forgive. A lot of people are going to say, I don't know how to do it because I'm so hurt or I have so much pain or some people have lasting scars as a result of the way that people have hurt them. What would you say to people who want to set themselves free, but it's just not in their heart to forgive? Because I can tell from what you're saying, this is not something you're doing for Adam, this childhood bully. This is something that you did for yourself to set yourself free. Yeah, so I'll answer that question within the context of the virtues, uh, five virtues that are in my book. You know, I talk about magnanimity, which is uh, really about striving for greatness. You cannot have greatness if you have resentment in your heart. Humility, which at its core is about serving others. Uh, if you don't forgive, it speaks for itself. You, you, you won't have humility. Courage, sometimes it takes real courage uh, to forgive someone uh, who has offended you. Maybe it's a, a grave offense, so it really takes courage. Perseverance, sometimes they may offend you more than once and you have to persevere in forgiving them. And at the same time, you teach them perseverance and, and teach them how to be better individuals. And lastly, temperance. Sometimes they may offend you um, in a very serious way, but that self-control, that restraint will really help you um, 
make sure you do something that won't affect your life and career. Is there an area in our society maybe right now when so many people, I think, feel broken where we need mm -hmm. to exercise more forgiveness, in your opinion? Thank you. That's a very important question. I think in our political, our politicians and government, you know, they aren't allowed to fail. And because of that, I think they're playing it too safe and we're not reaching our full potential. I also think about our criminal justice system where we are very unforgiving for individuals that have committed felonies. And a lot of times when they have a felony, they can't get a good job and they're forced to do the negative things that got them into the jail uh, in the first place. And lastly, I think we need to forgive the sins of the past, uh, the racism, the civil injustices, and all of the sins that have affected us. Now, we should not forget those sins and those sins continue to even to this day. So we have to recognize them, but, but truly heal in order for us to have a meaningful dialogue to move our world forward. You always have such a great message. The only other question I have is, will you join us again sometime? For sure, I, I wanna be there uh, in person with you. Uh, it would be great to, uh, and an honor to have that uh, opportunity. So please uh, invite me again. I definitely will. Hector, thank you so much for your time and, and all of your insight. It's wonderful. Thank you so much. Have a great day. And don't forget, if you haven't gotten it yet, a box and ring the boardroom. <laughs> I love it. That is Hector Cologne's book. It is called From Boxing to the Boardroom, Five Essential Virtues for Life and Leadership. To find out more about the book and his life, visit online at hectorcolonemke.com.